It's a two-in-one multi-tool. It's a pole saw and a chainsaw. I uh, had my first one for almost seven years, and I just bought a brand new one. Um, the reason being just because I used it a lot for seven years and I was ready for a new one, uh, just, just because it was getting kind of beat up. It still worked, but I wanted a brand new one and I love it. So I actually gave mine to my neighbor and they love it as well, but I got a brand new one. Why do I use it? Well, first of all, because it does everything that, that I normally would have to pay to do, right? Trim the trees, trim the branches, low-lying branches, things that are hanging over the house from the winter time. And having that extra eight foot extension pole means that I will never have to get on a ladder. Don't ever get on a ladder with a chainsaw unless you are a professional, all right? So what's nice about this, and you can articulate the head so you can angle it, <clears throat> you can get those big branches that are hanging over your house. You can trip, you know what I did this year? I've done every year. I trim my own Christmas tree. I take my I take my Christmas tree home and I cut a fresh cut off the bottom. And then at the end of the season, I cut my tree up and I use it as firewood. Do you know why I can do that? Because I have a pole saw. So while we're waiting for Peter, and this is my pick of the hour, and by the way, lowest price we've ever seen, here it is. Now what's so wonderful about this, we have it set up as a pole saw, which means that I can extend it, right? And I can extend it as big as I want and make it go far, far out. So you can see how much reach I get and then tighten that up, I'm going the wrong way. Tighten it like that. So now I can take my saw, the controls are down here. The blade is way up, up, up here. So I would take the protective uh, thing off the top. And now if I want to, you could see what my reach would be way up to the tallest tree. You can see how high I can, I don't even hear, I'm even out of the shop, but you see how high I can go. It's not heavy. All right, so it's easy to be able to handle. But the cool part is, is that this is a, uh, this is a two in one. So what I can do is I can pop it off just like this, let me see if I'm doing it right. Hold on, let me snap it back. Is that it? Hold on, no big deal. All right, I'll do it after. I'll just show you, it's, 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 I gotta unlock it over here. But anyway, what I can do is I can take it, now I can turn it into a handsaw, which is right over here. So if I wanna use it as a handsaw, and always wear protective glasses, two triggers to make it work so it's safe, it's all I need to do. And if I wanna come in and do cuts, I can do them very easily. And by the way, I'm not using any pressure. I'm just letting the weight of the saw do all the work. It's that easy. So whether I want to cut something that big, right? Because you got a big bar and chain on here. You got enough to do four, five, six inch logs with this. Very, very easy. It's not super noisy. It doesn't run when I'm not using it. It doesn't idle. It's not gas. I don't have to deal with that. All I do is take my saw over, let the weight do the work. That's all I need to do. And I get a perfect cut every single time. You're gonna absolutely love it. Um, like I said before, what I, I think I, I hardly ever use it as a handsaw. The only time I use it as a handsaw is when I'm cutting firewood or when I'm trimming like the Christmas tree. But if you are using this like most people will, for like branches that are way high up. It's so nice to have the extending pole on there. It makes all the difference in the world as far as using it. It's, a, it's a very comfortable in the hand. They padded the grip in the center which makes that very easy too. So there we go. I just, I just figured mine. You know what, you know why? This is a new one, it's different than mine. That's why I couldn't, I couldn't unhook it because this one doesn't slide, this one just unhooks like that. So I just unhooked the pole and now if I wanna put it back together, all I do is I come back over here and, I got this upside down, and like, like this, there, and then lock it, there. Now I got my handsaw. Sorry that took a little longer than normal, but it's a different design than mine. mine. Mine slides up and down. This one just clicks, so it's actually a little bit easier. Right here is where you put the oil in. Uh, they'll give you the oil when you buy the chainsaw, so all you do is you open up this little valve, and you pour oil in there. There's a little window right there. You can see the window right here. So that'll fill up with oil, and what that is for, that will actually lubricate this, uh, the bar and chain when you're using it. So that'll allow for the chain to go very smoothly. It'll lubricate the chain as it goes. So that's a really, really nice feature with it as well. So get it home, you're gonna love it. We're trying to get Peter here. We don't have Peter. Okay, well luckily I own this. <laughs> and so I, although I need Peter because he's a good guy, um, I can do it myself. Let me show you some of the things you could do with this because top to bottom, you, are, you will not go wrong with this. And by the way, let me also uh, talk to my, uh, my uh, lady gardeners out there. 
Um, if you're concerned that this, you know, this is too big and you gotta be a big strapping guy to use this, you're wrong, okay? This is the easiest thing you will ever use. It weighs less than, uh, let me see, let me get the exact, weighs 12 pounds. All put together, it only weighs 12 pounds. So it is so easy. And again, there's a little lock on top. And you know what's cool too about this one as well is that you can articulate this one. There's a little knob on the pole right there. You, you push that down and that allows you to articulate the saw in any direction. So if you're going up over a tree and you wanna angle it, you can actually angle it up or you can angle it down. That's a really nice feature as well. And if you are nervous at all about a chainsaw, remember, keep it like, keep it like this. Use it as a pole saw. That way you'll never be close, your hands will never be close to the blades. They'll be at least six, eight feet away from you. <clears throat> so it'll be very, very easy for you to be able to utilize that. And remember, no ladders. You never have to, you know, here's the thing. I've had guys, you know, professional guys come to my palm trees because they're like 40 feet up and they'll trim all the fronds. They have a truck to do that and a, you know, and a bucket on the truck. And then some of the guys will use a ladder. They're professionals. So let them do that stuff. But as far as branches around your house, things that are hanging over your driveway, over your car. You ever had something fall on your car? I have. Yeah, and guess what? With a $500 deductible, wasn't covered. <laughs> Never fails. So get it home, you're gonna love it. All right, I think we finally have Peter on the phone. We couldn't get him on Skype. You know, it's technical world. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But let's, uh, let's listen to Pete Kilcullen. Hi, Pete. Hey, Guy, how's it going? I'm a little Sorry talked out that. right now, Pete. I'm waiting for you to yeah. talk. <laughs> well, I, I heard some of you, but I missed some of the others. All but, good. Uh, I can tell you, you know, you and I are out here a lot talking about the pole saw by itself, which is so great. But when we start talking about two-in-one, that you can do both with this uh, two-in-one pole saw and change back and forth in under 10 seconds, that is a win for sure. sure. Take us through some of the things that you use it for. Oh, well, well definitely. I heard you talking a little bit about the car, but for, for me here is the, uh, the oak trees that get really low and start to hang down right near the front door, right? So you, your house starts to look really kind of, uh, you know, pinned in by all these trees hanging down, and then you've got constant cleanup from leaves and things. So with the pole saw, I'm able to get, I would say, a good 11 feet high. Yeah. And that's just enough to pull all those branches away from the front of the house, open up the whole look of your house. And then also it makes it nice that when you get into the winter time, I mean, obviously not for me here in Florida, but of course, anywhere in the winter, heavy rain and snow bring those branches even down closer. And then you potentially have, as you said, falling on the cars and, and everywhere else around the house. Yeah, you know, I, I just, it's never been easier for you to be able to use a pole saw. I think a lot of people, P Peter, are, are nervous about it in the beginning. Then they get it home and they realize, oh my gosh, this thing is so easy to use. And so whether you are, as I said, if you're, if you're using it, and here's how you would articulate it, by the way, real quick. So if I put it on an angle, so now, when I am cutting something, I can actually let the weight of the chainsaw go through the branches. And if you can see, I don't know if you guys can follow me, I'm not gonna cut the building down, but I wanted to show you just how much reach you have with this. I mean, that is, that's way up there, right? I mean, I'm over six feet. Greg, what do you think that is? It's gotta be like, that's gotta be 12, 13 feet high. So you're able to reach areas that are way, way, way 